Oh, I think that a lot of things are going really well at Carleton University. If you look at the uh, admissions uh, applications across the province of Ontario this year, uh, there is a 2.4% increase in applications across the province. And at Carleton, there's a 7.2% increase in applications. So uh, it seems to me that students are choosing Carleton University and we're very proud and pleased. And I'm not really surprised when we did the student satisfaction survey. 85% um, of our first year students said that they were satisfied with their experience and I think it was 81% of the graduating students were satisfied and that is both quite uh, significantly higher than the provincial average. And have had wonderful results in our research. Uh, the uh, uh, social science and humanities research, uh, we were about 2% of the national uh, grants, and now we're about 7%, which is a, a really nice increase. Um, in the science uh, and engineering grants, um, we have again increased the amount of money that we receive from them every year, and that's very important. I've had a number of faculty members receiving great honors and we've been very nice to um, print up some of those stories about faculty getting nominated for great book awards and um, so we're very proud of that. Uh, we're very proud of our students. Uh, we have um, graduate students have uh, won this Mecklen Award. They've won two of the national awards. Uh, we've won the Killam Awards for our graduate students. Um, we just got five uh, Commonwealth Scholars. Uh, uh, so this is pretty exciting. Our students are doing really well. And uh, we have a lot of um, uh, students that are participating nationally in all sorts of events. Um, whether it's the moon buggy or the hybrid car uh, that they've developed to uh, some international competition in Connecticut, uh, to the United Model United Nations. And the students came back from the Model United Nations and they said to me, I, well, I said, how did you do? And they said, well, we did pretty well. And I said, well, okay, so how well is that? And they said, well, we got the first place, the second place, and the third place, and then the best singles place, and that's all. And I said, well, you know, was there anything you didn't win? Um, and they said, well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> there were some fourth and fifth places that they didn't take. So they're doing really, really well. And I'm very proud of the accomplishments of the faculty, staff, and students at the university. Four years ago, we started a strategic plan. And uh, the strategic plan had uh, four identifiers. and. We said that we were innovative. We said we were in the nation's capital. We were going to capitalize on that. Uh, we said that we were international and solving real world problems. And we also said that we had four thematic areas, sustainability and the environment, digital media, health, and internationalization. And that those would be the kind of grid against which we'd look at new programs. And in the last, two years, there have been more new programs than there were in the last 20 years at Carleton University, and that's pretty exciting. I've um, started looking at our next strategic plan, and we're getting um, in, in line to evaluate our current progress and, and refine it. But as we've gone across the campus checking on how people feel about the strategic plan, um, I can see developed a new theme that we haven't put in, and that is entrepreneurship. Students have told me, you know, we are the most entrepreneurial university in the country. And the business and engineering faculty said, yes, we are. We started 200 companies in the last 16 months, and we are really doing a fabulous job at this. The arts faculty don't really like the word entrepreneurship. But when we talked about it and peeled back what entrepreneurship means and the fact that there are people who are social entrepreneurs and who try and make society a better place and that entrepreneurship means having a good disciplinary base, having mentors, um, having drive, um, we all agree that we do instill that in our students. and. We are quite an exceptional university in that way. Yeah. Business school put forward a minor in entrepreneurship 
so that no matter what you major in, whether it's art history or, or chemistry, you can do a minor in entrepreneurship. Uh, we have the Nickel Awards where students are allowed to or um, encouraged to put forward ideas for how they could change the world and make it a better place. And then we have other levels of competition where students are asked to um, create companies and business plans. Last three years we've been bringing in venture capitalists to review the students' plans and uh, encourage them to continue with what they're doing. But we want to succeed the first time and how do we find the way to do that? And we really believe it's through mentorship. So all of those new companies that have been started up, all of those people are coming back to mentor the students who are currently in our programs. Uh, and it is very exciting indeed.